time I feel in my spirit there is a transition is about to take place. No, this ain't for everybody in here, but for those of us that knows what I'm talking about, pull your neighbor and say, neighbor, something's about to happen in here. No, 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 look at them and say, something's about to take place in this place. Something's about to change in the atmosphere. The devil should have left you at home tonight, but I come to tell him it's too late now. Something is about to happen. He says, my father, my father, the last time you heard that word is when Elisha said to Elijah and the mantle fell. I come to make this announcement tonight. Let me hurry because I feel something pushing me. I come to let you know that heaven has opened up and some of you have been dealing with ancient demons. Who am I preaching to tonight? Some of you have been held back for a long time. There's some prophecies over your life. There's some things that you should have had a long time ago. Who am I talking to? Some of you should have been married a long time ago. But because of generational curses, I need some help in here because I'm, I'm killing a demon right now. You won't have to help me, preacher. Some of you don't realize that there are some demonic forces that have been with you for years from your grandfather's day, from your great great grand to your uncles and your aunties. And you're dealing with these generational curses that are trying to stop your death. But the Lord sent me from London, England. I need about 50 people in here to holler and scream and say, yes, Lord. The Lord sent me from London, England to tell you that the curse will be broken. Who you name us a name of? There's some battles you don't have to fight no more. But there are angels in this house. I see in the spirit. There's angelic hosts in the house that's getting ready to move on your behalf. Who your neighbor said, neighbor, I release you. I release you from the warfare. You don't need to fight no battle. Shaking them up. Shake them like you're shaking them out of their seats. And neighbor, wake up. Angelic hosts are here for you. There's an angel that's on his way to your home right now. Your family is about to turn around. Your situation is about to turn around. Assistance, Angelica. Sit down, sit down. I need a praise. I need a praise. I need a praise in here. Somebody help me. Praise. To the witches that turned up tonight. To the witches that have been trying to stop the progress of this ministry. Tonight your power has been broken. I gotta say something. Cause I just heard in the spirit. The spirit of masonry and large. Let me tell you what I heard. Because of your acceleration in the spirit, they have sent people in high places to try and frustrate the vision of this house. But I've come to expose and tell the devil 
you should have kept this principality in London. Oh, what, what does that mean? Sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit, let, me, let me explain about, let me explain, because you're, what do you mean principality? Okay. In the spirit realm, there's a king, kingdom. And depending on the level where you operate, there are some demons that I don't deal with because I'm already elevated as a prince. Let me just help you very quickly because people don't understand why you invited. Why did we need to get these preachers? It's costing us a whole lot of money. We don't need to do this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But let me tell you why they invite preachers. Why God sends another voice from another country. Because when I come here, the demons that are in Riley don't know me. Please understand, I don't mean it. They know you, they know your leaders because they're familiar with you. That's why they call familiar spirits. But when I turn up, that's why sometimes when you see a preacher come, they get a different response than their preacher. It's not that the preacher ain't anointed. It's just the weight of the kabod that's on their life. That the demons in the area, the principalities in that area, that region don't know them. So when I turn up, they think, who is this man? Where does he come from? Demons are not omnipresent. They can only be in one place at one time. So when I turn up, the demons say, who is he? The principality over Riley say, who is he? They then have to send a spirit off back to London, England, to my familiar spirit to find out I am in the spirit realm but by the time they got over there I've already loosed you to the next dimension I feel something in my soul note this week that you have been sent princes yes principalities oh some of y'all still ain't got it yet let me tell you something that's why Daniel when he was fighting he had a hard time because the principality over Persia knew who he was and tried to stop the breakthrough but he went and prayed and then Michael came the warring angel is here tonight said Michael's just turned up your answer your answer is on the way it's on the way somebody scream a praise like you're losing sit down sit 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 Everybody, sit down, quick, quick, quick. And can I count? Can I go on? Yeah. Are you really getting anything out of this? Yeah. Can I go on? He looked into his face, got a glimpse of the future, started to see angelic beings that were not in the natural, but he started to look in the spiritual. A ungodly man, an evil king, an unrighteous king, gets a glimpse of the spirit world. And doesn't understand what it means but it takes a prophet to connect you to your next breakthrough please don't despise the leadership of this house it takes a prophet to shoot you into your next victory sit down sit 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 i soon preach i soon preach it's all introduction um, um he, he he looks in his face and sees the future 
and he sees angelic beings he sees sees chariots it means something's about to happen fast your suddenly is on the way things that took you 10 years is gonna happen in one day did you hear what I said you won't have to you won't have to worry about it God's about to accelerate some stuff I feel a speedy thing happening I feel an overnight stuff I wish somebody in I hear it in my spirit I, I wish I had somebody who understand what I, somebody had an overnight overnight over all right all right find three people say overnight overnight no no say it like you mean it overnight I want to prophesy somebody's child is gonna come off drugs overnight somebody is about to get a promotion Somebody holler overnight, overnight, overnight. Sit down, sit, 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 sit. It's only the first night. I better behave myself. Listen. Elisha said, I'm glad you sat there. Elisha said, he's just got a glimpse of something that I know is a Kairos moment. <laughs> Elisha stops dying for a moment. There it is. Death, on hold. Death has to be on hold when some things need to be done. I don't care. I don't care. My shanda la bahoseta. I don't care what the doctor said. If you got cancer and he says you're gonna die, I come to tell you, death is on hold tonight. Who's in here, God? Who's in here needs a breakthrough? I need somebody to shout for somebody else. I said, death is on hold tonight. anointing of my life to kill cancer my mother had cancer and the doctor gave her over to die and she now is alive in Miami Florida I'm the child that was born after cancer she could not die because I was not born yet somebody in here thinks it's your end but the Lord told me to tell you death has just been put on home you shall I need a praise Somebody shout glory in here. <laughs> sit down, sit, sit, sit. I gotta finish this. Hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible says he put death on holy. And he says, you know what? Get some arrows. Got some arrows. He said, okay. Then he said to the king of Israel, put your hand on my hand. There are some things that you need prophetic assistance. You need a clear prophetic word. You need a clear direction. Oh, I wish I had somebody who would honor what I just said. I said you need a clear direction. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, I will not miss this time. I will not make a mistake this time. There will be no error this time. Whatever God told me to do, I'm going to have assistance for this last breakthrough. Every generational curse, every demonic activity shall be destroyed. He said, he said, he said, 
take some arrows, take, some, take a bow and arrow. And he said to the king of Israel, put your hand on the bow. And said, put his hands on it. And, 